Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video to Studio and today I'd like to share with you a free sample from our Urban Modern Title Pack 2.0. So if you're ready, let's check it out. All right, so you can get the title by clicking the link in the description. You will get this zip file, just double click on it to unzip it, and you will get this folder. In the folder, you have a couple of things. You have the license, the installation instruction, the DRFX file to install, and the font. Please make sure to install the font, otherwise the title will not work. Just double click on it to install it, and then you can just double click on the DRFX file to install that as well. Click install. Once in DaVinci Resolve, you can go over to effect, title, Video Editor Studio, then you can just scroll down to Sample, and then down here you will find your Burn Modern Sample 2.0. You can then just take it and drag it in your timeline. This title will work with any frame rate and any resolution. I'm gonna run you through the different functionality that it got. First off, you can just extend it as much as you want and it will return the animation out and the animation in. You can also adjust here the animation length. Right now it's one second, meaning that the animation takes one second to complete, but we could extend that for example here to three seconds and now the animation will take three seconds to complete. You can choose from 0.5 up to five seconds. Then you can choose to have no animation at all by here deactivating the animation and you will get just the design but without any animation. Then you can choose also between different type of animation. So here you'll have a list of different curves. So you could choose a sine curve for example or bounce curve. Anyway, I'll let you explore that. You can choose from four different animation direction. Right now you have left, right, up and down. Then you have the overall size and position of the title where you can just increase or decrease the size and adjust the overall position. You can just change the text as well. Here, I'm just gonna extend my inspector so we can see clearly what we have. So we have quite a lot of flexibility here with the front text size. So you could increase or decrease the front text and do the same thing here with the back text. You could adjust the tracking in between the letter, the line spacing, the overall position, angle, shear, and pretty much any customization possibility you can think of. For example, here you could switch the fill and the outline. Right now we have the front text being a fill, but we could have it as an outline and the back text being a fill instead. At any time, you can just double click on a preset to reset it to the default parameter. Here we could increase the thickness of the outline, for example. Anyway, then all those design changes are up to you. Then we have the drop shadow, but let me bring some footage in to show you how it looks like. So here, I'm just going to take some footage, bring that in, make it fit to resolution. But basically, now we could increase the shadow strength to help us create more separation between our footage and our title. If you want to create even more separation, we could use the background that we're going to see in a minute. But first, there is two more drop down here with the glow, where you can just increase the glow of the title which will work fairly well in a scenario like this one where it's at night and we already have some glowing neon in our footage. So it's matching very well. And then the next drop down, we have the perspective where we can adjust the X, Y and Z position. And then lastly, we have the background that I just mentioned where we can increase here the opacity to help us create more separation between the footage and the title. This is a pre-animated background, meaning that there is a slight fade in when it comes into screen. You could deactivate that fade in here by toggling off this box. You have a bunch of different options with that background. You can have it being a solid or just transparent. You can adjust the soft edge. You can adjust the overall width and height. So here to really match only, for example, the frame around your text. You could make it a vignette by here rounding up the corner radius and then inverting it. And you could even change the color. So right now, for example, if we pick a color in our footage, like this blue color right here, it can really quickly become a stylistic element to help you elevate it to look of your title. And that's pretty much it. Hope this video was helpful. So I hope you'll enjoy this title. This is a title from our Urban Modern Pack 2.0. You can find it on our website. It contains 30 different modern titles that you can use for your video. I hope you like them. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates built only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack that contains over 150 elements. Link in the description below or at videoeditorstudio.com.